He will release me from the nets of sinful ones. He will protect me from their wicked hands. Beneath the shadow of His wings I will rejoice to find a dwelling place secure. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear, I shall not fear. the dark of My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration. As we are in the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, let us surrender ourselves and our intentions. Let us begin this Holy Mass by signing ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us pray together. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have confirmed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, verses 8 to 15. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedom, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Sicilia and Asia, came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, We have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified this man never stops saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus, the Nazarene, will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Your response, Alleluia. Alleluia. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Your response? Alleluia. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts. And I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Your response? Alleluia. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Your response? Alleluia. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O God. After Jesus had fed the five thousand, his disciples saw him walking on the water. Next day, the crowd had stayed on the other side, saw that only one boat had been there, and that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but that the disciples had set off by themselves. Other boats, however, had put in from Tiberias, near the place where the bread had been eaten. When the people saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into those boats and crossed to Capernaum to look for Jesus. When they found him on the other side, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, you are not looking for me, because you have seen the signs, but because you had all the bread you wanted to eat. Do not work for food that cannot last, but work for food that endures to eternal life. The kind of food the Son of Man is offering you, for on Him the Father, God Himself, has set His seal. Then they said to him, What must we do if we are to do the works that God wants? Jesus gave them this answer. This is working for God. You must believe in the one he has sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we as human beings have two kinds of hunger. The first hunger that we all have in common is the hunger for the physical needs. And to achieve or to gain our physical needs, we toil or we work hard from morning till evening. The second hunger that we all have in common but very few of us realize is the hunger for spiritual food. And this spiritual hunger, only God can give us a satisfaction. My dear brothers and sisters, in every Eucharist that we participate, God is satisfying our this spiritual hunger. Sometimes we have everything in our life. We have the most latest gadgets. We have the most updated versions of things. But many a times we lack this spiritual hunger. 
we try to satisfy our spiritual hunger thinking that this physical world is gadgets are going to satisfy but many a times we realize and it is very true that to satisfy our spiritual hunger this world will always fall short this world will never be able to satisfy a spiritual hunger and only god can satisfy a spiritual hunger we have noticed for ourselves during the time of covid people who had enormous amount of wealth were not able to save themselves but people who had enormous amount of faith in jesus were able to restore their life my dear brothers and sisters in the gospel passage of today we see that after jesus has fed the people with bread around 5000 people when jesus fed them miraculously and when jesus told his disciples to go to go away and people wanted to make him king because they believed that the messiah would satisfy them with bread messiah would give them more amount of bread even more than moses so they looked for messiah to satisfy their physical hunger and that is why when they don't see jesus they are upset and they are in search of him and when they find him they ask him when did you come here and jesus tells them you are asking this question not because you want me to be your person who will satisfy your spiritual hunger but you are looking out only to satisfy your physical hunger and that is not why i came on earth my dear brothers and sisters the gospel of john of the gospel of john of today is preparing us from now onwards to the discourse on the bread of life and jesus tells them do not work for the food that satisfies only your physical needs but work for the food that satisfy your spiritual food my dear brothers and sisters from the beginning when adam and eve sin from the time when they were away from god when that relationship was broken they had everything with them but they lacked that spiritual food they wanted back that relationship and that relationship which was broken jesus came to mend it and that is why jesus tells them work for the food that will satisfy your spiritual hunger and the people ask jesus what must we do and jesus doesn't tell them oh you have to say so many our fathers or so many hail marys or you have to light so many candles or you have to go for pilgrimage he doesn't say anything he only tells them believe believe in me believe in me because god the father has sent me and he has set his seal on me that whoever believes in me will have this eternal life so my dear brothers and sisters many a time we pray we participate in prayerful activities we participate in eucharist we participate in you know in various uh, novenas but what jesus wants us to do is that to believe if we are going to ask anything or we are going to pray for anything we need to believe it is only when we believe things start happening in our life my dear brothers and sisters seek first the kingdom of god and everything else will be added unto us so as we participate in this holy eucharist the message of jesus is very clear to each one of us that he is calling us to believe in him so my dear brothers and sisters let us gather ourselves 
let us believe in Jesus. Let us trust Jesus that whatever we pray, that whatever we ask, whether we receive it or we do not, that should not lower our faith or deteriorate our faith in Jesus. Let us trust and put our enormous amount of faith in Jesus because it is only He can lead us to the Father. May God bless our efforts and our, our way of life so that we continue to trust and believe in Him. My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by His divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and live Jesus. Thanks be to God.